Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Libyan teachers of English. How are you? Uh, my name is Russell Barczak. I'm the Regional English Language Officer uh, based at the U.S. Embassy in Rabat in Morocco. So I uh, look after English language programs uh, for uh, embassies, U.S. embassies in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, and, and Libya. So I'm really happy to meet you today and tell you a little bit about an opportunity of applying for an e-teacher uh, scholarship program. Um, so first, I, I want to say I haven't been able to talk with you before, so I'm excited to meet you. Uh, and thanks to uh, David and Marwa and other contributors uh, for your, your Facebook group. Um, so I want to tell you about an opportunity. Uh, we're looking for English teachers like you to participate in our integrating critical thinking skills in an English language classroom. Um, so I have with me today our uh, program officer, Curtis Chan, who looks after the, the e-teacher program, who can, hope, uh, who can tell us a little more about the program and the, the steps you should take to apply. Um, so Curtis, thanks for being here. My pleasure. To talk to our, our new friends here. Uh, and can you tell us uh, what, what is the course exactly? Sure. So the course is integrating critical thinking skills into the exploration of a culture in an EFL setting, which is quite the mouthful. But it is a course that has been designed and will be taught by World Learning School for International Training, and it's developed to help the teachers analyze their own teaching skills and integrate critical thinking skills into English language lessons. Um, the course will, will take place from July 3rd to August 28th, and uh, participants who are interested will be able to interact with uh, a global audience. You'll be able to interact with teachers from all over the world and share your ideas. And if you successfully, or when you successfully pass the course, you'll receive a certificate of completion from the U.S. Department of State and World Learning SIT. That's great. So it's an eight-week course. It's an eight-week course, yes. And there is a certificate. And there is a very nice certificate. Super. Is there a lot of work involved? There is a fair amount of work. Um, we recommend that you be able to spend between eight to ten hours per week to work on all of the coursework. Uh, you will need a reliable access to the internet. You should not be a dual citizen of the U.S., and you should be in Libya for the entirety of the course. Okay. Um, so I have, would have to spend how many hours per week doing this material? Between eight to ten hours should be sufficient to successfully pass the course. It is pretty intensive. Okay, so a lot of reading, a lot of writing. There's reading, there's writing, there are discussion boards between other uh, participants and your instructors, and uh, there are some assignments that will help you develop content, develop lesson plans um, to demonstrate all of the knowledge that you will have acquired. But it's from a U.S. university. It is from World Learning uh, School of International Training which is an accredited university, yes. So uh, I, I need a high level of English to take this course. You do need an intermediate level of English and be able to read and communicate um, on academic topics. Uh, we recommend um, a B1 or B2 level on the, the Common European Reference Framework, Zephyr, mm -hmm. or about a 525 TOEFL score, so you should have a strong intermediate level to be able to follow along with all of uh, the coursework. Mm -hmm. What happens if I don't do my homework? If you don't do your homework, then Russell will follow up with That's you and say, please do follow along with your homework. We do want you to get the most out of it, so we are in contact with you and with the embassy to make sure that you complete the activities on time. You should plan to access the website uh, that has the content at least one or two times a week. Um, and that will mean that you will need to upload all of your assignments and do all of the reading. It is all downloadable, so you can do a lot of the work offline, 
but you do have to be online to submit your assignments. Okay, well that sounds great. And what else will I get out of this experience if I take the class? You get the experience of interacting with a global cohort from teachers all over the world, as well as uh, U.S. trainers of, uh, of teachers who will be able to not only teach you how to use critical thinking in your classroom, but they will work with you to develop content uh, so that you are able to develop new uh, lesson plans that will benefit all of your students. Great, so an eight-week course from this U.S. university. I get to interact with teachers, English teachers, from other countries in the world. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty excellent. And the best thing is that all of the content is openly licensed. That means that after you're done, mm -hmm. you can take all of the content that you learned and that you used and use it in your own classroom. And you can change it if you, if you need to change it to better fit your context. But everything is openly licensed, so it's, it's open for you, the teachers, to use as you see fit and to share with anybody who you would like to. That's fantastic. So I think the topic also sounds very interesting about critical thinking and culture. Get some great ideas to, to bring these components into your English language classroom. Um, so one more important piece, I think, for uh, a successful e-teacher uh, would be to keep in mind not only to share these ideas with your own students in your own class, but anyone who's given a scholarship like this should also think about ways to share this with other teachers. Uh, so it sounds like there'd be a lot of information uh, that's very shareable and might make a great workshop in your own department or with other teachers near uh, where you work. Sounds Absolutely. like a fantastic opportunity. Um, how do we apply? So more information will be posted on this Facebook page, but you would need to send, uh, download the application. Yes. It's a short one, maybe two pages. Fill out the information and upload it or send it to your contact um, at the embassy. Yeah, perfect. So, um, as very shortly when uh, we we finish this uh, little broadcast, is it a broadcast? This Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. Facebook Live. Um, we'll we'll share with you here uh, three documents. Um, so the first one will give you a course description, so you can read in more detail what's available through the course. Uh, another information sheet uh, reviewing the, the major components and logistics and who's eligible to make sure the course is right for you. Uh, and finally, the blank Word document application. So have a look through that. You're asked to write a short essay and give some other basic information. Um, so, and, and of course, directions on where to email that uh, application once you're done. Uh, so you need to look for these things when when we're through they'll be posted. Uh, check them all out, fill the application out and send it on before April 8th to be considered for the course. Um, we'll think about a lot of a lot of different uh, things when we review the applications, your essay and your ideas for ways you'll use the information after will be very important, but uh, I hope you'll consider applying and I hope we'll have a chance to meet you uh, during and after our e-teacher course on critical thinking through culture. Thank you.